In this video, I'm going to show you a three-headed rushing attack out of the trips tight information that I think you're going to absolutely love. I'm going to talk about why it's so good. I'm going to talk about some other formations and defenses that are popular online that you're going to be able to use this three-headed rushing attack against. That's going to really give you a leg up, especially going to be allowing you to play ball control, really put you in a position where you're going to be ahead of the curve. Now, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I upload new videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. I also wanted to let you know that if you want to learn all of my trips tied in today we're talking out of the new england book you can get access to that by joining the patreon i got 14 offensive and defensive ebooks available for you as soon as you join the patreon for just ten dollars a month you unlock all of those trips tied in just happens to be one of those 14 ebooks so i would encourage you to join the patreon there's a link in the description below if you want to check it out the runs in this video that we're going to be talking about are the rpo zone alert bubble the 45 quick base the pa counter go and the qb power so we got kind of a three-headed rushing attack and the beauty of trips tied in i think it's one of the most fun offenses to run for multiple reasons the first one is you've got some of the best passing concepts in the game the fact that you have three wide receivers on one side of the field in a spread formation you can motion them into two by two create two by two run three by one you can create compression sets with unique motions within this there's a lot to like about this formation i have to tell you but the other thing that is really good about trips tight end is the balance in which you can have you have great pass protection i think trips tight end personally has some of the best pass protection in the entire game i also think that trips tight end allows you to have unique alignments and it has running plays built into it that can really be help you be successful against different types of fronts, different types of way people want to try to shut down your run game. And that's what we're going to talk about in this video. So the number one run that we're going to talk about today is the 45 quick base, but I'm going to show you how you can use these other running plays to really make this much, much, much better. Now, the, be the best way to run quick base is to the left. Pretty much for all these runs, you want to run them with your trips to the left side of the screen. And what you're going to see here is if we're running quick base, and I'm just going to kind of mimic the user by dropping this guy in the middle of the field, what you're going to notice with base is this guard is going to pick up their user almost every time. And as you can see, if you get a look like that, it can make it really difficult for them to be able to shoot it. Another thing that makes base so good is the fact that basically what you're going to have is they're going to have to kind of stay in a base alignment. They can't, they can't shift, overshift, undershift, right? They have to kind of stay uh, kind of with a base alignment. And if they don't, you're going to hit them with base, especially at a 3-3-5 wide, which is arguably one of the best running fences of the game. So you're going to get this kind of basic look. And like I said, base is much better when you run it to the left. However, if you start to see that they might over pursue, so let's say they shift this guy over here, and let's say, for example, they put this guy right in that little gap right there. Well, then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the, the uh, uh, HB counter here. And what you're going to notice is you're going to get this guard that's going to pick up their user. And you might have seen spam and buttons do that to Henry once or twice. I think you actually end up getting a touchdown out of it. It's a really, really good concept. So when they're over pursuing uh, to try to stop this left side run, that's when you want to hit them with your right side run, which is your halfback counter. Notice the guard just kind of picks up the user. And I mean, you see, that's freaking tough to stop. It really is. So now what you've got them in a position is they're going to be in kind of no man's land, to be quite honest with you. So let's say, for example, they're kind of in a standard alignment like this. And let me just show you what counter looks like. If you run counter this way, you still get the same kind of action as base. And that's what makes this so interesting. You still get the same kind of action as base. So what you could do, let's say, for example, you're getting a look like this, where they're not man aligned. They're just kind of in a basic look, you know, just something like this. What you could really do with this is you could get yourself a plus one by motioning this slot to the right. You're going to motion to the right, snap it right there, and now you got someone to guard the safety. And if you get outside right there, there's nobody to guard you. There's nobody that can tackle you. Um, you're going to be able to at least get 10 to 15 yards on this run. And I'll show it to you again here. So again, we're going to go to counter. Just mo You don't have to motion all the you know you don't have to motion godwin i just think it's best because when you motion godwin the slot corner or the nickel back out there is going to stay outside so you motion him he's going to go pick up the safety and look at that big lane i mean that's you could drive a truck through that hole that's a huge lane that you can hit another little tip that i wanted to give you on running the ball in this is this rpo zone alert bubble is this something that you can call that's going to keep your uh, team honest or the defense honest? Because you see here, they're not in a man line. Look, there's nobody over circle receiver. I mean, the linebacker is, but if we notice they're blitzing a lot, go to this RPO zone alert bubble. You want to go ahead and double team right there, but really we're looking to just hit that bubble screen, get outside. 
And again, that's a way, again, we can kind of stretch the defense uh, to the sideline with our quick passing game. So again, I'm going to show it to you one more time here. This time we're going to show it against man. That was zone. Uh, I'll show it against man coverage. This is a man blitz. And what you're going to see here, our pre zone alert bubble, you notice, I mean, you get a little clip right there, and that could be a really big play. So the bottom line is what they're going to have to do to stop this um, is a couple things. So I'm going to play a hard flat, and I'm going to go ahead and pass commit right here. And I just want to show you something with this. So hard flat and pass committing you're going to notice here that he does get outside but i could have probably cut that inside another thing that you can do with this is when you get the ball over here one of the things that i want to stress with this is it's best to run the ball with your trips to the short side what i mean by that is to the left to the short side so it's really best to run with the left hash so when the ball is on the left hash in this situation, what you're going to notice right here is I can use this play to get me back to the left hash. And again, I can, I can cut that up or I can cut that out. Notice hard flat is not picking the ball off. Something I really wanted to kind of point out. Um, here's a little bit more of a coverage version. We're going to drop that linebacker in a quick flat. We're going to pass commit again. You'll see here, just throw it out there. And now again, you see, you put yourself in a position. So it's just something that you can kind of force on to have to think about. It re that's all we're really trying to do. Most of the time, the way people are going to play you is in some type of cover four drop, but they're going to take this guy right here and they're going to put him in man coverage on that slot because we oftentimes run him to the flat. So now you're going to get a position right now where if they're doing stuff like that, that's another reason why this play can come in handy. You get that ball out there, get yourself a couple quick five to, five to seven yards, you can be in a good position. The cool part also about that is it is attached. An inside zone is attached. So that's why you want to double team inside. You get yourself just a nice little basic run, just right inside, just like that. Now, another thing that you can do, this is for people who like to overcommit to stopping base. So they're going to stand kind of right here. You might get a look kind of like this, if you will. But basically what you want to do is you call this uh, bubble play and you're going to run and then you're just going to cut backside. Okay, so when they're, you know, again, you're just kind of reading the shoot. That's all you're really doing here. You're reading the shoot. If the sh Most of the time, because people are so worried about base whenever they face trips, um, most of the time what you're going to see is they're going to actually try to shoot. Like they're going to be here, but they're going to try to shoot in here. Okay, that's pretty much where they're going to try to go. So I'm going to try to imitate that right here for you. But what you could do, just cut the inside zone back, and then again, you've got a big lane right in there where you can run for several yards again. Last thing that I want to hit on right now is a man line defense. So if you get man line, two things you can do. The first thing, of course, is the counter. Um, I would not motion Godwin because we know they're going to follow him. So we're just going to leave it just like this, and we're going to play a game with their user. If we can beat him, we can. If we can't beat him, then we're going to go to the QB power. And I'm going to show you what that looks like. This is where you want to put your uh, you want to put your ball carry on conservative. But if you get a man line look, you go to QB power, and now you've got that running back as a lead blocker, and look at how many yards I can get. Again, it's just a simple um, three-headed rushing attack. We can run left, we can run middle, we can run right, but we can do it in a way that is really hard for the user and really hard for the best defense that most people would argue is probably the best defense in this game, 3-3-5 three, three, wide. I can tell you this is a really good against 2-4-5 odd. Um, you're going to have to, I mean, they're going to have to wrestle with do we stay in 3-3-5 three, three, wide after this. I mean, it's just simple runs that are just going to move the chains. But again, that's what makes trip side in special. It's not just a great passing formation. It's not just a great running formation. You have all of the keys to a successful offense within this. It's what makes it so good. So if you want to learn how to run it, join the Patreon. There's a link in the description below. Thanks for watching today video like i said before by joining the patreon you're going to get access to 14 uh offensive defensive guides as well as any one of the new ones that i'm coming out with i normally release new content over there at least once a week so if you want to get access to all of that stuff join the patreon today if you're still watching this video head on down to the description you can click that link that i put down there and uh, go check out that membership thanks for watching we'll see you guys later